Did dinosaurs swim in the oceans? Have you ever wondered if dinosaurs could swim in the oceans? Most people think of dinosaurs as huge creatures stomping around on land, but some of them were actually excellent swimmers. Let's dive into the fascinating world of swimming dinosaurs. First, it's important to know that not all dinosaurs were the same. There were many different kinds and they lived in different environments. Some dinosaurs, like the famous Tyrannosaurus rex, were big and strong but preferred to walk on land. However, there were other dinosaurs, like the Spinosaurus, that were more comfortable in the water. Spinosaurus is a cool dinosaur that lived about 100 million years ago. It's believed to be the largest carnivorous dinosaur ever. What makes Spinosaurus special is its long, crocodile-like snout and paddle-like feet. Scientists think it hunted fish in rivers and lakes, using its powerful legs to swim just like a crocodile does today. Imagine a giant dinosaur splashing through the water to catch its lunch. Another interesting swimming dinosaur is the Plesiosaurus. Although it had saurus in its name, it wasn't technically a dinosaur. It was a marine reptile, which means it lived in the oceans. Plesiosaurus had a long neck and four flippers, making it an amazing swimmer. It could dive deep into the water and paddle gracefully, hunting for fish and other sea creatures. But what about the dinosaurs that didn't live in the water? Did they ever swim? The answer is yes. Many land dinosaurs could swim if they needed to. For example, the large long-necked dinosaurs called sauropods, like Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus, were believed to be able to paddle across rivers and lakes to find food or escape predators. Imagine a giant Brachiosaurus wading through water with its long neck reaching for tasty leaves on tall trees. Swimming was an essential skill for some dinosaurs to survive. If they lived near water, they could find food and escape from dangers on land. It was like having a secret passage to another world. Plus, some scientists believe that swimming helped dinosaurs stay cool during hot days. Just like we enjoy a refreshing swim on a hot summer day, dinosaurs may have splashed their way to a cooler spot. Now, let's talk about why dinosaurs disappeared. About 66 million years ago, a giant asteroid hit Earth, leading to massive changes in the environment. Many dinosaurs couldn't adapt to the new conditions, and they went extinct. But interestingly, the oceans remained home to many other creatures. Some of the swimming reptiles, like Plesiosaurus, were also affected by these changes, but eventually new marine animals emerged. This led to the diverse ocean life we have today. So, next time you think about dinosaurs, don't just picture them on land. Remember that some were amazing swimmers who splashed around in rivers and oceans, hunting for food and enjoying the water just like we do. Now here's a fun activity for you. Create your own dinosaur swimming scene. You can draw a picture or make a collage using different materials. Include swimming dinosaurs like Spinosaurus or Plesiosaurus, and don't forget to add fish, plants, and maybe even some underwater bubbles. Imagine waking up in a world filled with gigantic trees, colorful plants, and strange sounds all around you. This is what a day in the life of a dinosaur might have been like millions of years ago. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth for about 165 million years, and each day was filled with adventure, challenges, and unique activities. When the sun rose, the sky turned bright, and the dinosaurs began to wake up. Some dinosaurs, like the gentle Brachiosaurus, were huge and needed a lot of food to fill their big bellies. They would stretch their long necks to munch on the treetops. Did you know that the Brachiosaurus could eat up to 1,000 pounds of leaves in a day? Other dinosaurs, like the fierce Tyrannosaurus rex, were meat eaters. Their day might start with a hunt. T. rex had sharp teeth and powerful legs, which helped it chase and catch other dinosaurs for breakfast. Imagine being a small dinosaur trying to hide from a T. rex. Once the dinosaurs had their breakfast, they might spend some time playing. Young dinosaurs, like baby Triceratops, loved to run and chase each other in open fields. They used their three horns for fun, just like kids might use sticks to play games. 
Dinosaurs also communicated with each other using sounds, movements, and even colors. As the sun climbed high in the sky, the dinosaurs might look for water. Large rivers and lakes were important for drinking and cooling off. Dinosaurs like the Spinosaurus spent time near water, hunting for fish to eat. It had long, sharp teeth perfect for catching slippery fish. But not every day was fun and games. Dinosaurs had to be careful of dangers, like other carnivorous dinosaurs or natural disasters. For example, if a volcano erupted, the ash and lava could change their entire habitat. Dinosaurs had to be alert and make quick decisions to survive in their ever-changing world. As the day turned into night, dinosaurs would find safe places to rest. Many dinosaurs lived in herds, which helped protect them from predators. Imagine a group of Triceratops huddled together, keeping watch while they slept. Dinosaurs also laid eggs, and caring for their young was a big part of their lives. Some dinosaurs, like the Oviraptor, built nests and stayed close to their eggs until they hatched. What a joyous moment it must have been to see baby dinosaurs emerging from their eggs. So, what can we learn from a day in the life of a dinosaur? It teaches us about the importance of food, safety, and family. Dinosaurs were part of a huge ecosystem, and each one played a special role. They were not just big lizards, they were incredible creatures that lived in a world very different from ours. Now that you know what a day in the life of a dinosaur was like, let's get creative. How about drawing your favorite dinosaur in its habitat? You can add details like trees, rivers, and other dinosaurs. What will your dinosaur be doing? Maybe it will be munching on leaves, playing with friends, or even taking a nap. Have you ever imagined what it would be like to see a dinosaur walking through the forest? Some dinosaurs were really big, while others were much smaller. But did you know that some dinosaurs walked on two legs? That's right! Just like you, they stood up tall and used their legs to walk, run, and even hop. Let's explore why some dinosaurs chose to walk on two legs instead of four. First, let's meet the bipedal dinosaurs. The word bipedal means two-footed. Some famous bipedal dinosaurs include the speedy Velociraptor and the giant Tyrannosaurus rex. These dinosaurs had strong legs that helped them stand on two feet, making them different from their four-legged friends like the massive Triceratops or the long-necked Brachiosaurus. One big reason some dinosaurs walked on two legs was to help them run faster. Imagine a cheetah running at full speed. Bipedal dinosaurs like the Velociraptor could sprint quickly to catch their dinner or escape from larger predators. With two powerful legs, they could leap and change direction easily, which was super helpful when they were chasing their meals or hiding from danger. Another reason for walking on two legs was to see better. By standing tall, bipedal dinosaurs had a higher viewpoint. This allowed them to spot food or danger from a distance. Imagine being in a tall tree. You could see all around you. Similarly, T-Rex, with its big head and sharp eyesight, could scan the landscape for other dinosaurs or tasty prey. Some scientists think that walking on two legs also helped dinosaurs use their arms for other things. For example, T-Rex had tiny arms, but they were still useful for grabbing things or keeping balance. Other dinosaurs, like the raptor, had longer arms that could help them catch prey. So, while their legs did the walking, their arms could do the hunting. Now let's talk about how these dinosaurs lived. Many bipedal dinosaurs were predators, which means they hunted for food. Walking on two legs helped them be quick and agile. However, some herbivorous dinosaurs, like the iguanodon, also walked on two legs. They needed to reach high plants to munch on leaves, and standing tall helped them grab their favorite snacks. It's like stretching your arms to reach that last cookie on the top shelf. Did you know that bipedal dinosaurs could also leave cool footprints? Paleontologists, the scientists who study dinosaurs, can learn a lot from these footprints. They can figure out how fast a dinosaur was moving, what it was doing, and even how many were in a group. 
Isn't it amazing to think that we can learn about these ancient creatures just from their footprints? Bipedalism, or walking on two legs, was an important feature for many dinosaurs. It helped them be fast, see far, and use their arms for different activities. How fascinating it is to think about all the different ways dinosaurs adapted to their environment. So, what do you think? If you could be a dinosaur for a day, would you want to walk on two legs or four? Or maybe you'd want to fly like a pterodactyl. Here's a fun activity. Why not create your very own dinosaur? Draw a picture of it and decide if it walks on two legs or four. Give it a name and write a little story about what it does in its dinosaur world. Let your imagination run wild, just like the dinosaurs did.